I was out at a nightclub with um, with Gary and another friend, and and and, uh, and somehow I lost track of them, and then I lost. <clears throat> And then I realized I had no money left and then I realized the sun was coming up and I was, I was, I was, I was in the bathroom looking in the mirror, uh, you know, realizing the night was over and I was starting to crash. And, um, and I, I literally spoke to myself and said, you're, you know, you're not the kind of guy who would be at a place like this at this time of the morning, but here you are. And um, after I staggered home and, and got to, uh, got to my apartment uh, loft I was sharing with Gary at the time. Um, he, he apparently had run off with some girl because he wasn't there. And I sat down and I wrote down those lines because I thought, you know, that's, I, something just told me it was, it was I had caught myself in, at a moment talking to myself. And, and, you know, of course, we don't talk to ourselves in the first person. We talk to ourselves in the second person, but, but not, that's, very seldom have been reflected in literature for some reason. I don't know why. So I wrote down this parrot, what basically was the first paragraph um, of, of what first became a short story and then became Bright Lights Big City. And um, so a few months later, I sent a short story to George Plimpton at the Paris Review. Um, and um, I eventually got a phone call from him. It was kind of startling. And uh, he he said that he liked that he, I, I, I'm not very good at imitations or I'm trying to do his accent, which is pretty funny, but but he said he liked the story and he wondered if I had anything else to show him before he made up his mind. And so I after I hung up the phone, I, I, I frantically went through all my stuff. Uh, this, is, this was back in Syracuse now. And um, and, you know, so I, 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 I reread re everything I'd ever written. And, the, and there was the sort of Robert Stone imitation and there was the sort of Mary Robeson imitation and there was a, you know, all the stuff that I'd been doing, I realized was, was, was um, uh, unoriginal and imitative and, uh, and, and I was very discouraged. And then I suddenly came across that piece of paper from New York. And you're not the kind of guy who'd be at a place like this at this time in the morning and here you are. And I, and I thought, um, this, this is, this is something different, you know, this is, I've never heard this voice before. And, and so I, I sat down and, and basically that night I, I wrote 12 pages in that voice. Um, and I can't remember if it was the next day or the day after that I, that I just sent, it was, it just all came out at once and I, and I sent it off to George Plimpton and he called me several days later and said, this is fantastic. I'm going to publish this uh, as is. And, and it was sort of rushed into the that whatever the the current issue was, and and in fact, and in fact, I was, you know, I I I, I actually tried to do some editing. He said, no, no, no. This is he said this this is the way it is, and uh, and, and so it, that was published as a short story called "It's Six A.M. Do you, Do You Know Where You Are?" And and it really, it def, you know, for a publication in a small literary magazine, it, it, it actually got a fair amount of attention and. Uh, and, and, and there came a point where I thought, you know, this isn't finished, you know, I, I just dashed off 12 pages and I, this story could go, could go on. Um, and at the time I was working in a, on a novel, a sort of expatriate Japanese novel, which eventually became Ransom. Uh, and and I, I was just really struggling with that. And so it was, so then that after I finished, um, after I finished um, school that, that, that year, instead of going to New York, I stayed in Syracuse and I, I sat down and I wrote, I wrote what became Bright, the first draft of Bright Lights Big City in, in, in about six weeks. And it really, uh, and, and it was like cheating on my first novel, you know, because uh, I put aside this Japanese novel and uh, it, it was like having an affair and, and it worked. <laughs> Um, and six weeks later, I, had, I essentially had Bright Lights Week City. Uh, 